Hey guys, welcome back to Universe Retro. This is our weekly update on the Wii U Quest, the quest to complete the entire North American Wii U physical library. As of last week, we were at 86 of 163. So we only had one title to talk about last week, which was Hello Kitty Cruisers, a big title, but it was just one. So this week we've got a few more. We've got five titles and uh, some pretty cool ones and one that's just a eh, filler, but we're gonna talk about them. If you guys haven't already, make sure to hit subscribe and like for this video and follow along with me on my Wii U Quest. If you're just jumping in on this video, the Wii U Quest is my quest to complete the entire 163 title library that was released here in North America. So we got five um, and I always like to shout out where I got them. So I was able to grab one from GameStop that I did not have. I was able to get Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. So Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze was originally released on the Wii U. But it also saw a port on the uh, on the Nintendo Switch. Um, in this, it's an adventure. It spans, it says six unique islands. Um, Cranky Kong and Dixie Kong are on there. Uh, you've got new moves and features. Um, on the back says, journey with Donkey Kong and friends as you explore lush jungles, sparkling waters, and ice-covered tropical islands. So yeah, never before seen abilities and breathtaking camera angles. So I think it's a lot like Donkey Kong Country on the Super Nintendo and stuff. I've never played it. This is one I'm actually looking forward to playing because I do really love Donkey Kong Country. So yeah, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. That was from GameStop and that would be number 87 out of 163. I got back from uh, Burger City Pond because my friend Ren that had hooked me up with some games previously, I said, hey, I got some games in. I had all of them but one, but he got me Darksiders 2. Um, what's cool about this one is it includes bonus content, five plus hours of additional gameplay included on this one. I have never played a Darksiders game. Um, it's funny that I got this one though because I did get the Darksiders game for Switch, the first one, um, at GameStop this week. So I can play that and then I can jump over here and play Darksiders 2 because I've heard really good things about it. So Darksiders 2, um, it's like a third person action RPG. I get a lot of references to Zelda, the 3D Zelda is like Ocarina of Time. Um, I get a lot of like comparisons to that from what I see. Um, on this bonus disc for the Wii, you get an extra content pack that includes a new area and new dungeons. Um, two hours of additional side quests. You get some legendary armor and weapon packs and upgraded speed boost for your horse. So it's supposed to be a pretty good game. Darksiders, I think three is out now. So there's up to three, but that's definitely one I'm gonna check out. So thank you, Ren from Boger City Pond for Darksiders 2. And that makes number 88 out of 163. The last three that I got this week all came courtesy of my good friend Spencer and his company, Red Fox Gaming in Hickory, North Carolina. So I was able to get Penguins of Madagascar, which would be number 89 of 163. And Penguins of Madagascar, it says that you help Skipper, Kowalski, Rico, and Private defeat Dr. Octavius Bryan's plan for world domination. Uh, you go on stealth operations in top secret locations from the movie and beyond. You master each penguin's unique skill like Rico's explosive slide and Skipper's stun slap. And you solve puzzles, crack codes, and hunt for cheesy dibbles. So there's only two screenshots on the back, but it looks like there it's like a 3D side-scrolling type thing possibly. Um, but yeah, it's Penguins of Madagascar, and that is number 89 out of 163. Uh, next at Red Fox Gaming, I was able to get Phineas and Ferb, the quest for cool stuff. I know I watched a lot of Phineas and Ferb with my daughters, so this was a really fun one to grab, um, one that I think they're gonna have a good time playing. And it makes this one number 90 out of 163. Uh, Disney's Phineas and Ferb, the quest for cool stuff. It says on the back that cool treasure awaits beyond the tri-state. So dig, drill, and blast through an out-of-this-world adventure with Phineas and Ferb as you collect fun stuff for the Museum of Cool. You build, customize, and upgrade the do-it-all Transformatron, explore ancient temples, underwater caverns, and the moon, and you save the tri-state area as crime fighting Agent P, which I think is the platypus guy. So it kind of looks like, once again, like a 3D platforming style kind of game from the screenshots on the back. So it looks like it'd be pretty fun. Uh, yeah, a Phineas and Ferb quest for cool stuff from Red Fox Gaming, number 90 out of 163. So the last one I got, unfortunately they made a lot of Just Dance games for the Wii U. So I needed to grab it, it was there, Just Dance 2014. So if you've seen one Just Dance game, you've kind of seen them all. The only thing that differentiates the Just Dance from each other is the songs that are on it. So that's what I'm gonna talk about. 
In Just Dance 2014, you got titles like Blurred Lines from Robin Thicke, and then you've got Will I Am and Justin Bieber, and you got Ariana Grande and Mac Miller, Daft Punk and Pharrell Williams with Get Lucky, Lady Gaga Applause, blah, blah, blah. Um, fun with one to five players. World dance floors, dance with anywhere, anyone in the world, party master mode, control the party with the Wii U gamepad, etc., etc. Um, features over 40 of today's hottest tracks. So, yeah, Just Dance 2014 rounds out my last title that I got this week. Like I said, I got five titles. This one makes number 91 of 163. So we're 91 of 163. We're only nine away from hitting that hundred mark, and uh, we're definitely well over halfway. Thank you guys. Thank you, Ren from Burger City Pond and Spencer from Red Fox and local GameStop in Hickory, North Carolina. I was able to get all five of those to add to the quest. Not bad. You know, I had to have them, a few in there that I actually would like to play. So it should be pretty cool. Um, I've already got some leads on some good ones for next week. And I uh, can't wait for you guys to check those out. So thank you for your continued support. As always, my Google Doc list will be in the description, so it's updated with what I need and stuff like that. So hit me up on Facebook at Universe Retro, Instagram at Universe Retro, Twitter at Universe Retro, or you can hit me up right here in the comments and we'll talk. It's getting right along. We are almost at triple digits. We're at 91 out of 163. So thank you guys. Like I said, if you haven't already subscribed or liked or shared or any of that, do it all. It helps all. So thank you guys so much. See you guys next time.